Hey everyone, I guess you call this uh, Smart Take Sunday. So, I can't really give y'all entertainment, but I figured I'd try to give you some inspiration, at the very least, some education. So, smartest thing my mother ever told me, it was probably the smartest thing anyone without a high school diploma has ever told me. What she said was this, I want you to look at how we struggle, look at how your father struggles, look at the hardships our family faces, learn from our mistakes. That right there, I can tell you right now, blew me away and saved my life in so many ways. Just with seeing people who made bad choices that landed them in prison or dead or something, I learned, from, I learned because of that. But also, I, um, I really like to read. And so one of the things with reading is you can learn from other people's mistakes who are not alive anymore. And even if they are alive, you can learn from the mistakes they made in their life much faster. Greatest thing in the world is teaching yourself, educating yourself, because here's the thing. You can go to college, you can go to high school, you can have great, amazing, highly intelligent parents, whatever the case may be. You know, whole family can be just highly educational. There's always something you can learn from someone else somewhere. So what I did on my own little personal development journey, I figured the mind was like a machine, something I had to understand, maybe a computer. So I went and got a psychological exam, understand how the brain works. Also went to therapy because you may understand the schematics, but if you don't know how to maneuver everything, it can go bad. It's like trying to jump into a car thinking you're a race car driver just because you can reach the pedals. You know what I mean? So what I can tell you is this. Keep on learning from people around you. And if you don't know where to go, who to go to, crack open a book. We have the entire span of human knowledge in this little phone thing because I'm using a phone. We have all the little span of human knowledge in our hand, but it's how we use it. See, we have social media and a lot of people complain about the issues of social media. Yes, there are plenty. Like the fact that there's a lot of these touch up and fake pictures and videos and stuff. People show you these great traveling videos. It just looks like they're having a lovely time and they see these pictures and they, they just look fantastic. It's just, it, a lot, so much of it's fake. They don't tell you that, you know, cameraman slipped and broke his nose. The other guy cracked a bike, so they had to walk 300 feet back to the car to get another one. And it's like, they don't tell you the struggles just to take a picture. They don't tell you or really show you the struggles to make these videos of traveling. They don't tell you the dangerous situations all the time. You know, sometimes they tell you tidbits, but you don't really get an understanding of the experience. So it creates this false sense of everyone's got a better life than me. That's a lie. The thing is your perception is what matters. Um, in the words of Qui-Gon Jinn, Phantom Menace episode one, by the way, of Star Wars, your perception determines your reality. Man, I, I tell you what, Star Wars has taught me so much philosophically, you cannot imagine. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of the concept of the force from Star Wars came from the Tao Te Ching, which by the way, I recommend reading the Tao Te Ching. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the books I have now that are self-development, I never thought I'd ever read. I never thought I'd be reading um, how to make friends and influence people. I saw that book as a kid and I thought it was pathetic. I feel like a fool now. Um, you know, I kind of bounced around on this, but the main thing I really wanted y'all to take, because I've been trying to do this for like an hour, I'm not even joking, is you can go to get your education. That's fine. I'm getting my degree and something I know is going to be useful for myself. I may not achieve the level of financial literacy that I expect or want from a college education, but I know that it will get me into the profession I want and an opportunity to learn things 
that I want and to make the uh, connections with people that I want. That's an important thing I can really tell you. A lot of these people who were successful, you can look at them and say, oh, because they're rich, they're, they're this or that. It's like, no, 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 no. It's networking. If you have a friend who just so happens to have a cheap car for sale and your other friend needs a car, but he don't know your friend, you tell him about it. Your friend gets to buy a car from your other friend. That is networking, people. It's not no nepotism type junk. No, it's networking. Who you know, who you're around. Um, you, you can't expect to kn know everything or have all the information. Sometimes it comes naturally. But what information you get may also depend on what circle you have. So if you're wanting certain information about self-development, maybe surround yourself with that, starting with something like social media. That's where I was off at. So I use social media for education, for inspiration, for a little bit of wisdom here and there, but also on the off chance, maybe I learn about a new author. I can go through a book. If I can't read it, I'll get, get it on the Audible, vice versa. And self-development should never, ever stop. The moment you stop is the moment you hurt yourself. And I know this for a fact because I stopped reading quite a bit and it was the worst time, <laughs> the worst time of my life as an adult. It sucked. So never stop working on yourself, people. The smartest thing I can tell you is that, as well as learn from other people's mistakes. If you don't know where to look, keep reading. If you use social media, use it to teach yourself. Don't use it just for entertainment, because here's the thing. You can enjoy your time, but if you do all that play, you never work to invest in your future. Play is not work. Work is not play. If you want to invest in having a better life, a better future, a better outcome, you must work for it. You can't just sit down and play. You think even competitive gamers are just playing? No. It's working. It's understanding the dynamics of the game. It's maneuvering within a system that they are fully understanding. They are constantly educating themselves on. An update happens, they must understand how that update has affected the gameplay because that could be the difference between whether or not they win the competition. It could affect their, their, their controller or something. You don't know what the case is. You're always going to have to work for something. I remember I was trying to look through family history stuff and I saw this... Um, this uh, coat of arms, and it said, um, nothing without work was the motto. And that's it. If you don't work for something, you'll never get it. If you expect all the knowledge of the world to be handed to you, all the wisdom of the world to be handed to you, if you expect to learn from everyone's mistake by going to college alone, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. You're going to be far behind what you should be. Anytime you feel like you are not where you should be in life, pick up a book. You'll learn from somewhere new. Um, I follow Gary Vee. I follow Stoics. I follow uh, philosophical quotes. I, I follow um, Hang 'em High Customs just to learn about mo motorcycles and mechanical problems and how he fixes them, stuff like that. You cannot stop, never stop working on yourself, never stop developing who you are. Self-development, why would you ever stop? Here's the thing about people who are experts. You can't teach an expert a damn thing because experts believe that even if they do, they have the maximum knowledge of something. There is nothing else to learn. Don't ever be an expert. Always be an a. Uh, uh, a pupil, uh, always be a Padawan, always look for mentors, look for education, look for 
knowledge and wisdom you don't have. Because whatever you have in your life where you feel like you're not getting somewhere and things aren't good enough, at the very least, it could just be your perception. It could just be the way you're thinking. You could be putting your emotions into judgments when instead of judging, you should be questioning. Not questioning with judgment, just questioning to understand. Questioning to get clarity. Your simple perception could be the problem. Not maybe you're doing something wrong in life. It could be you're doing something wrong in here. So this is why you can't ever stop. There's more people that have died on planet Earth than currently live. So you're going to tell me you're just going to stop when you have that much education and knowledge to learn from? Because here's the thing. Even people who have knowledge now, have wisdom now, have things that they've written books about, they learned it somewhere, somehow, from someone. Even if they can't even remember who it was, they've gotten that education from somewhere down the line. It's come from somewhere. If you don't know where to look, start grabbing books. If you really want to learn about people, yourself, whatever, stay out of the fiction section. Focus on nonfiction. Go to the self-help. If no one else is going there, be the contrarian. Go there. I thought no one went there because well, the only people who went to self-help books are people that couldn't help themselves. Uh, <laughs> ironically, <laughs> the only people helping themselves would be in the self-help section. So, you know, that's really the important point of always try to educate yourself, always try to improve. The moment you quit is the moment you never progress. You stop progressing. You can't improve your life if you don't do things to improve it. If you keep doing the same stuff every day, that, that, there's that old saying, same crap every day, same crap different day. You're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to be doing anything different in life. That, that nice car that you want, that wonderful life you want, instead of saying, man, I wish I could have that. What if I won the lottery, blah, blah, blah. Ask yourself, how do I get it? How have people who have gotten that Rolls Royce or whatever, how, how did they get it? What did they do to where they, how do you earn the money to get that? How do you earn the money to get it and maintain it? Ask yourself that. Don't judge people who are successful. Don't judge people who are wealthy. Ask yourself, how do they get there? Learn from them. Learn how they got from where they are to where they are at now. From where they are compared to where they were in the past. Anyone who has gone from rich uh, to poor to rich, you know, you're always going to learn lessons. You go from poor to rich to poor to rich, you're going to learn something. Always find people you can learn from. The people who have gone from poor to wealthy, definitely go check them out. Look at their stuff. Figure out where they went and how they got to where they are. Perceptions and thinkings of wealthy and poor people are different. So I talked about books and stuff, so I'm going to give you all some books I would recommend. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Excellent book. Think and Grow Rich, excellent book. How to Win Friends and Influence People. Those books, I would say, are some of the most important. If I gave you another book, it would, I, I, I can't, I'd have to probably say anything with Marcus Aurelius. I can't think of the book right now, but anything on Stoicism really. That will definitely help you out. Um, so I hope y'all have a great Sunday. I hope this rambling wasn't too much. And I hope I have at least inspired you to where you're no longer sitting stagnant. You're no longer stationary. You're no longer lethargic. You're taking the steps, no matter how small, to always learning, always improving, and always developing yourself. Y'all have a good one.